Hello friends, this video on matrices part 27 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 26. Now we will learn transpose of a matrix. What is transpose of a matrix? If there is a matrix M cross N, then a new matrix is obtained by interchanging rows and columns. So if you interchange rows and columns, that is you make rows as columns and columns and rows, then the new matrix obtained is called transpose of a matrix denoted by A dash. And mathematically if you see if A is equal to Aij, this is Aij of M cross N matrix, then A dash, that is transpose of A is nothing but Aji and it is n cross n please note it is m cross n this becomes n cross n so m cross n becomes n cross n we'll give you some examples before actually going to the next slide let me tell you why it is used in case of encryption decryption which we use for uh, uh, i mean transmitting signals the phone calls which you make the interconnect internet connection we use Everywhere in encryption, decryption is used. In those cases also we use transpose of matrix, real life application of transpose of matrix. Also for example, if you have this, this suppose 2, 5, 3, this is one matrix and this is of 3 cross 1. If you make a transpose of this, if you see this is all the columns, this becomes rows of this matrix. And from 3 cross 2 it becomes 1, 3 cross 1 it becomes 1 cross 3. So this is one example of transpose of matrix. Another example I can take 2, 6, 7, 1, 5, 4. Let's suppose this is a matrix and 1, 2, 3 cross 2 matrix. If you transpose this, the rows becomes columns and columns become rows. So this guy is a column here, it will become a row. So it will become 2, 6, 7. This guy 1, 5, 4, it will come in this fashion. If you see here, this is 1, 2. 2 horizontal, 3 verticals. This is 2 cross 3. So it was 3 cross 2, it became 2 cross 3. So the rows becomes columns and column becomes row. Mathematically, Aij, if it is all the elements are Aij, that becomes Aji. So if you see, let me have a matrix like this A11, this guy is A12, A13. A21, A22, A23. So let's suppose this is my matrix A. You get the transpose, you get something like this. You A11, A21, because this is a, a column, this becomes row. Again, this column, this becomes row. A12, A22, this is A13, A. So if you see this, all the elements were Aij. Right, A, I, J, I, J, it flipped. So instead of A, 1, 2, this is, I mean A, 1, 1, this is A, 1, 1. A, 1, 2 becomes A, 2, 1. Correct. A, 1, 3 becomes all A, I, J becomes A, J, I. So let's take some properties of a matrix. If you transpose a matrix twice, that becomes the matrix itself. You take a matrix, you transpose it, and you again transpose, that becomes the matrix itself. Because double transformation, actually, you change a row to column, and then again you change a column to row. So it becomes the same matrix altogether. So we double transpose, the matrix becomes matrix itself. This is a simple uh, properties. You multiply any constant with the matrix, take a transpose that is nothing but K into A matrix, A transpose. Here also if you have A plus B, you make a transpose or you say A transpose plus B transpose, all the same. This is a good one actually. You have A cross B, you take a transpose, that is nothing but B transpose dot A transpose. Please note, this is the critical one. You have A, B transpose, that is nothing but B transpose, A transpose. 
If you want to prove this, you can take any two matrices. Example, in this case, let me take A as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You get A dash. There's nothing but you. The column become row 1, 4, 7. Column become row 2, 5, 8, 3, 6, 9 comes here. So this is my A dash. You get A double dash. Again, this, this column become row 1, 2, 3. This column become row 4, 5, 6. This column become row 7, 8, 9. So if you see this, A and A double dash are exactly the same. See that you can prove each of these. You can take two matrices, add them, take a transpose and then individually you transpose and add them all the same. This is a little critical one. We can prove this. We'll take one example in the future slides where we'll prove this using some example. Let's take some more example now. We have to find the transpose of this matrix. The first one, 5, 1 by 2 and 1. Very simple. This is all columns. This becomes a row. So this becomes like this. So this is my transpose version. This one, find transpose. Row become column. This is a column. Column becomes row. 1, 2. Again a column. Column becomes row. So this is my transpose version. Same thing for this also. My row becomes column, or you can say column becomes row, one the same thing. Till now we have done row becomes column, so this time let's try column becomes row. So, sorry, we have tried column become row every time, so this time let's try row become column. This is a row, let's make it as a column. Again, a new row, let's make it as a column. Again, a new row, let this be a column. So, if you see, this is my Transpose matrix. Very simple. Either you take rows, make it column, you take column, make it rows, one and the same thing. Very simple. Let's take one more example. We have two matrices A and B, and we have to prove this, uh, which we have learned just now the properties of matrix that is A plus B dash is going to A dash plus B dash. So let's take the first one. For that, we define A plus B first. So a plus b is nothing but right here. Minus 1 plus minus 4 minus 5. Then 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus minus 5 is minus 2. 5 plus 1, 6. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 0, 9. Minus 2 plus 1, minus 1. 1 plus 3, 4. 1 plus 1. So this is my matrix A plus B. Now I have to prove that A plus B transpose is equal to A dash plus B dash. So let's find the transpose of A plus B dash. Row becomes column. So this 5, 6, 1, I'll make it, this is all column, this becomes row. So this becomes 5 minus 5, 6 minus 1. Similarly, this guy's column becomes row 3, 9, 4, and this column also becomes row minus 2, 9. So, this is my so this is my matrix A plus B dash. Now, let's find A dash and B dash. So, instead of uh, making row be column become row, let me try row become column here. So I'll take this row and make it as column. So a dash becomes minus one, two, three. This is just to prove that any of these is possible. To take five, seven, nine. I'll make five, seven, nine like this. Minus two, one, one. So I've got a dash. Similarly, b dash. If we can try this way now. Here, let me try column becomes row. Take this column. I'll make it as row. Minus four, one, one. 1, 2, 3 and minus 4, minus 5, 0. So I have got all these values here. The only thing is I have to find the value of a dash plus b dash. So I will say a dash plus b dash is equal to, I will add these two, minus 1 plus minus 4, minus 5, 5 plus 1, 6, minus 2 plus 1, minus 1, 2 plus 1, 3, 
7 plus 2, 9, 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus minus 5, minus 2, 9 plus 0, 9, 1 plus 1 is 2. So if you see both are same, well, this is 4, minus 2, 9, 2, minus 2, 9, 2. so it has to be 2. So if you see both are same, a plus b dash and a dash plus b dash both are same. Thus we can say that this property is true. Similarly, you can try this also because in this you have to first find a minus b. You get the transpose of this, then you find a dash b dash, subtract it and you'll find that a minus b dash is equal to a dash. Let's take one more example. Almost similar to that. The cash here is, this is not a, this is a dash actually. Please note, else you won't be able to add also because this is if you see 1, 2, 3 cross 2 and this is 2 cross 3. So you won't be able to add also. This is a dash, this is b. So this is a dash, a will be nothing. You get transpose of this. So make row s column. So this becomes 3 minus 1, 0. This becomes 4. This is my a. Similarly, I have b. b dash I can get by transposing it. Let me transpose this way. Minus 1, 1. 2, 2, 1. So I transpose this, transpose this, transpose this. So I got B dash. So I have B dash of form 3 cross 2, A dash 3 cross 2, A is my 1, 2, 2 cross 3, and B also 2 cross 3. I can now very well say A plus B dash and I can prove all this thing. I won't solve this question for you. You can solve this on your own. It's a very simple question now. You have A is there, B is there, A dash, B dash, everything is there. The only trick here was why I took this question was because in the question instead of A, it was A dash. So don't get confused. Try to see properly where there is A or A dash. Sometimes in the questioners get googling and instead of A, they have B dash and you think how can we solve this question. So just understand the question properly, that's all. This is also a same similar question where instead of A, they have given A dash. So don't get confused here. Don't just add because don't consider this as A. First you have to find A because you have to find A plus 2B. And then you have to find a uh, transpose. So from this, I can find A first. To find A, let's take this uh, row and convert to column. So this becomes minus 2, 3. You take this row, convert to column, this becomes 2. So I got this A. I have B, so let me find 2B. 2B is nothing but, you multiply the number with 2, minus 2, minus 0, 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2. So I've got A, I've got 2B. So A plus 2B is very simple for me. I have to add these two. Minus 2 plus minus 2 is minus 4. 1 plus 0 is 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5, 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is A plus 2B. Now what I have to do, I have to take a transpose of this, a plus 2b, get a transpose. Here also what I will do, I will make row as column, so this row I will take, I will make as column, this row I will take, I will make as column, and this is my answer. Very simple, the only thing here also catch, please read the question properly, it is a dash, a lot of people do that, a lot of students mis uh, tend to do a mistake, they read this as a and just try to solve the question very fast but end of the day they make mistake so please understand that this is a dash not a so this thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again